Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example, we need to find the vertices and the foci of these hyperbolas. And you notice the form is uh, a little bit different. The first step you want to do is to divide by 12, both sides. And you're going to get x squared over 4 minus y squared over 3 equals 1. And this form here looks like the one down here that's the reason we want to divide by 12 and you notice by the way 3 goes in 12 4 times and 4 goes in 12 3 times that's the reason we have those denominator for the second equation okay and look into this one is an x square minus y square that should tells you like you see here x axis is the focal axis so we're going to start to a square which is 4 that will tell us a is square root of 4 plus and minus square root of 4, which is going to give us this plus and minus 2. And you see the vertices are right here. Uh, you have them algebraically very fast. For finding the foci, we need the b square also, which is 3. And c square will be a square plus b square. So in this case, 4 plus 3. And that will be 7. c is going to be plus or minus square root of 7 and again if you take a look you have the algebra for finding this foci that you see we are asked about uh, another equation here will allow you to find the asymptotes so in this case we're going to have y equals plus or minus square root of 3 right because if we take a look here b will be plus or minus square root of 3 plus or minus square root of 3. Uh, these are important feature of this uh, hyperbola. So square root of 3 over a, which is 2x. And you can see the graph right here. And like I said before, the vertices are right here, plus and minus 2 and 0. The foces plus and minus square root of 7 right here zero and you notice the asymptotes if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help thank you